Hi YouTube, today I'm gonna show you how to create this slide and reveal typography. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> so, maybe it's called line slide. Maybe. I don't know. So yeah, let's proceed. So we will start by creating a new composition. Composition, new composition. And 10 seconds is enough for this project. And let's name it slide reveal typography after that um, let's create a new layer solid and I'll use light blue for this project after creating this we will need to create the um, text that will be displayed on both sides of the line so uh, let's say hello and create a new one world and after this we will need to create um, the line the straight line that animates on the first and reveals the typography we can create that line simply by um, creating a shape layer so you just have to press the pen tool make sure that you're not selecting any any layers on your project so that it will not mask the layer so Let's create this shape layer. Um, make sure the fill is disabled and only the stroke will be enabled for the straight line. And then um, you need to set a point A. Click that will be your point A. And then on your shape layer, contents and shape one, click path and click the time time watch this will set the animation we have to set that keyframe so that we can animate the straight line and uh, and forward the time that you're t in your timeline forward at least um, maybe um, 15 frames hold shift and then press your tool pen tool yeah so that will be your straight line um, make sure your pixel size is 5 pixel you can use 4 fix, uh, pixel if you want your straight line to be thinner. So let's fix the position of your text and our line so that you will have a better idea of the result of the animation. So yeah, scale up the hello because we will be copying the last project that I showed you. And let's change the font size of the world. After fixing the position of our project, let, um, make sure that it is centered so that it is visible. We now need to create a new layer of solid and let's choose red so that it will be visible. And let's put it on top of hello and then change the opacity, press D, um, let's set it to 30%. Then set the scale, press S to match the text the size of the text or the size of the the font size of the text that we've created so there make sure that the edge of the solid is attached to the edge of the line and then we need to duplicate this red solid press ctrl d duplicate let's put it on top of world and do the same process that we did for the hello make sure that it is attached to the edge of the line so next let's change the name of the red the first red solid that we've created let's change it to hello this is the solid layer on top of the hello text and the other one let's change it to world this is the other solid layer that we've created or the duplicate and now we will set the alpha mat of the hello text to alpha mat set it to alpha mat and let's do the same for the world notice that the, the opacity of the text changed and adapted the opacity of the solid layer that we've created because if we set it to alpha mat this solid layer acts as a mask for the layer below it so let's change the opacity to 100 percent in this way our text will be visible now, look what happens if we move the text around. It automatically hides the text because 
this solid layer will act as your cookie cutter or your mask for the la for the layer below it so it will automatically hide the hello world now the last thing to do is animate the position of the text that we've created press P on the hello and then um, press the stopwatch to set a keyframe and then forward the keyframe um, the keyframe 10 frames so that this will be the last sequence of the animation and press the diamond the diamond here on the side this will add a keyframe again add a keyframe and then adjust the X position make sure to completely hide the text hello and let's do the same for the text world click P for position then add a keyframe let's forward a little bit so that the text hello reveals first before the text world let's forward five maybe five frames then add, um, press the stopwatch again then 10th frame um oh we forgot to forward the frame so that this will be the last sequence and then add a new keyframe by pressing the diamond on the side of the text or on the side of the position and then make sure to completely hide it just like with what we did with the hello text and that's it we now have the slide line reveal text or whatever you call it if you want to um, change the animation because it looks static and you want to add easy ease then just drag the keyframes and press F9 do the same for the text world so that it won't look static and let's shorten the animation drag all the keyframe press alt so that you can shorten the animation after that do, um, do the same for the shape layer press u um, let's shorten the animation of the line and press f9 and maybe adjust the keyframe of both text so that it will reveal right after the line shows and that's it you now have the hello world if you like to add more um, or you want the animation to look fancier you just have to drag the keyframe and then press graph editor and then um, drag this all the way up make sure that you are on the edit speed graph and drag the right keyframe all the way up and then do the same for the other keyframe drag all the way to the left and do the same for the text or or for the shape layer rather um, click this and then click the graph editor and then drag this all the way up so now we have this let's ramp preview okay and that's it I hope this has been helpful and please subscribe and like. Thank you. Yeah.